crystal regulators, or four-glass clocks, as they're called in Europe for obvious reasons, uh, were a very popular design and were often given as wedding presents. Uh, many times I've restored or repaired these clocks, these crystal regulators, and the people have told me this was a wedding present to my grandparents or to my great-grandparents even, so that um, uh, they bring a lot of memories. The significant things about these is they always have beveled glass, so you get a lot of reflections as the clock is running, and also because of the glass sides in the back, you actually can look in and see the movement working, and the movements are always nicely polished too, so you see a, a, a quality, highly polished machine inside that you can watch working, and as well as seeing the pendulum swinging down below. These happen to be French crystal regulators. The, the concept, the design originated there, but the Americans also made many of these, and you'll find ones by Seth Thomas, Waterbury Gilbert, the uh, same as with all the other styles we've talked about so far. You'll see down below uh, the, pe the pendulum swinging. It has uh, shiny stuff in there. This, these are actually mercury pendulums. Uh, there's mercury in there. that We'll talk about that later on. But if you're afraid of mercury and you're buying American clocks anyway, don't worry because in virtually all of the American crystal regulators, that's just a chrome tube in there. It's not real mercury.